Hello YouTubers. Um, today we're going to be talking about adding images to uh, SQL. Um, and I named this tutorial adding images, but uh, uh, a file uh, it, independently of the extension is nothing but a bunch of bytes. So you can add an image or a sound file or, or a TXT file, a Word document, it really doesn't matter. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, let me go ahead and fire up uh, 2010 here. And uh, we're going to be using the console application. Um, as our template. Uh, first thing we're going to do is add a local database. So I'm going to add a new item and I'm going to add a local database. And the second thing I'm going to do is add a reference to uh, the SQL Compact. So I'm going to go ahead and add a reference here. Um, system data uh, SQL C. So I have a reference there. And also here. Now let's go ahead and add um, edit our database. I'm going to go ahead and add a semicolon in there. Um, in here, I'm just going to add a simple table. Um, it's going to be table data. And this is the table that is going to hold our, uh, our files. The first column is going to be an ID column, and this is an int, allow nulls, no, allow new, uh, unique, yes, primary key, yes. And also I'm going to set the identity to true, um, so then this uh, this row will auto-seed as we're adding new images. And then this column, I'm just going to call it the data column. And then uh, under the data type, I'm just going to call it image. Again, it's set as image, but you could, you know, you can add anything to it. Uh, go ahead and click OK. And now we have our table in there. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is create a, um, a SQL connection to that that local DB um, SQL C connection. I'm just going to call it connection string equals new SQL connection. And then um, in here um, we're going to use the uh, Data source equals to. We're going to use the keyword data directory. Data directory um, backslash. What's the name of our DB? Main DB. Main DB. SDF. Okay, I think that's all. Um, that should do the trick. I'm also. I'm actually going to wrap this. Around uh, using a statement. Uh, so then, as soon as we're done, as soon as we hit the end of that using statement, um, all the objects are terminated. Um, okay, so we have our uh, our connection string to our DB in here. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a container to hold that image or to hold that that file, be an image or be a be a, a sound file independently of what it is. So I'm just going to create a byte array, okay, um, of data. And then I'm going to read the content of my file into this, uh, this byte array. So I'm going to say that data, it's going to be equal system. Um, let's just, well, we can, okay, let's just do it here. Um, System.io.file.read all bytes, and then uh, for this tutorial, I I know where I have some images. Um, I put in my temp directory, and I name read picture .jpg. Okay. Um, again, it doesn't have to be picture. It can also be, you know, it could be something else like MP3. It's it doesn't it doesn't make a difference. It's just going to read everything into the array of bytes. So um, let's just go ahead and fire this up really quick so then we can take a look at it. I'm going to start. And then you can see that my buy, buy array is still null. But as soon as I read all those I read all those bytes into it, then I have my array full of data. Okay. What we need to do now is simply commit, commit this, this data to our local database in here. So let me go ahead and continue with that. Um, at this point, you pretty much you should be familiar with this if you watched the previous videos. So all I'm going to do here is create a SQL uh, command, 
and uh, I'm going to write the statement here to write data into that table. Um, into We called it what? We called table data. Table data into table data. And we're going to be writing into the column data. Okay. And the values are going to be, let's add a parameter in here. Uh, and our connection strings, yes. So now let's go ahead and then uh, define that parameter. I'm going to add with value, and my parameter name is data, and then the actual the actual object holding the data is my data array. At this point, I have my command define. All I have to do is open connection, and then I'm going to execute that. Um, execute not query to persist the data into um, into the DB and close. Um, of course, you should be doing this into a in, in a try block, uh, try catch, try catch. Go ahead and put a breakpoint. Uh, go ahead and run the program. So it created that uh, it, it it has a reference to that object. We go inside the try catch. We add data to the object. We create the command. Uh, we add a parameter to the command, and then we open the connection, execute the query, and then we close the connection. Actually, let me go ahead and then open this really quick. I'm going to navigate to the uh, Windows Explorer folder here, and I'm going to go to the debug folder, and you can actually see. That the database now it's eight megs in size. Let me see if I can just leave it. I'm gonna try to do this. Let me go ahead and then just run it again. Let's start one more time, and just for you to see it, the the the, the picture is about six megs. So right now the database. Let me go ahead and make this smaller real quick, just for the uh, for demonstration purposes here. Um, we're gonna step through the code. DB is eight megs. Um, I'm going to get the picture again, open, execute the query, and once I close it, it's going to commit that. And now you have 14 megs in your database. Um, just, to, uh, just to prove what I mentioned earlier, I also have a file there called sound.mp3, I believe. Um, sound.mp3, yes. Go ahead and then try to uh, add that to the database. I'm going to step step to the through the code here, and you can see that that works just fine. Um, when we look at the debug, we have that we have that data now committed to the the SQL Server. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, the next tutorial will be uh, retrieving the data that we committed to. Uh, um, to the local DB. So um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye.